Hello, in this video I will make a review of the top filter, which we can find here. Filters allow us to make filtering of the products by different parameters on the same way. Let's look them by order. Here we can filter products by ID. For example, we want to see ID visited 3744. Okay. Press enter. And now we can see only this ID. And what about if we want to see some IDs? I don't know, maybe it is this, this product. Yes, now we can see these products with this ID. And what about if you want to see some products? Some products which ID is from one value to another value. Now we can see these seven ideas. Okay, it's clear really. Let's press reset to reset the filtering. Product title. Here we can search products by title applying parts of their titles. For example, let's enter logo. Here we have cover like. That doesn't mean that all products in the Mm, title of which will be found word logo will be found. Yes, we can see this logo, 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 logo. Okay. Okay, what about not logo? Just now we will find all products which had this word. And begin uh, will be found all products where logo is on the beginning of the title. Yes, as you can see. And end will be found products where logo is on the end of the title. Yes, as you can see here. And now right so you one hint which you can find it as a documentation. For the search, stack searching, you can use next syntax logo, with, and no. What does it mean? Find all titles with hash words logo, with, which has word with, and they shouldn't have this word. So let's copy this. Let's press reset. So, on the first page you can see sunglasses with logo, cat logo, logo with 1111, Benny with copy. So, uh, should be found this, this, everything which has logo word, which has with word, and there should not be this, this number. Let's try it. Enter and now you can see that we found all words with logo, logo with copy. And let's remove this part of the expression. And now we can find this logo with one, one, one because parts with expression where we applied operation not. This is not for the, this part of string being removed. Okay. Product content, product excerpt, and product slab, school, and meta title, which we added in the previous video here, have the same behavior as the product title. Now let's review fields, which operates with the numbers from and to. You can see regular price from, let's find all uh, products from $20 to $40. Enter. One more moment. Yes, we found these products. And you, as you can see, and let's order by price. It started from $20. 
and maximum here as we can see 33 okay that's clear uh, by the way you can reset filtering not only here but also is here also here it's more convenient I think uh, the same is the same logic for all another fields here product type let's select only variable products so we found only variable products by the way relation between all these fields is by logic and so if you will select variable and stock status out of stock will be found uh, all products which are variable and out of stock let's review taxonomies so we can select some taxonomies for, and press filter and will be found all products which has taxonomy B1 and B2 and one more thing uh, what about if you want to find the products which has on the same time one term of the same taxonomy and another? For example, let's find B2 and T-shirts and select end here. That means product should has B2 and T-shirt terms on the same time filter. Yes, it found it something. Let's check it. Yes, as you can see, it's a B2 T-shirt. B2 T-shirt. Also, you can apply a scroll here to see what taxonomies has the product. Okay. And let's select all terms, all products which hasn't B2 and T-shirt. So, we'll be found all which has not these terms. Yes, we found something. Let's remove it. A relation between different taxonomies, which is product categories, tags, also product attributes, color, color, material. A relation between them, them is N. So if you will select B2 and color blue, will be found products which belongs to this term b2 and blue on the same time let's the plugin also works with the custom taxonomies look on this taxonomy location i add i created this taxonomy using this plugin custom post type with and it's been created here So let's select something, make filter, and we found one product. Okay, also the plugin works fine with the US plugin as multi vendor because really multi vendor is just taxonomy. So let's select something, some vendors here, and let's make filtering. And we found and we found some of them. And by the way, the same behavior. Let's let's find all uh, let's find all products which belongs to vendor one and vendor two on the same time filter. Yes, found two, and not in this. So as you can see, filters provide us this very powerful tool. And this tool allows us to provide a bulk operation, with, a bulk operation with the filtering product. That means we can filter, for example, this product which has these vendors and, and change for this filtered product the price. For example, we filtered products for vendor 1 and vendor 2. And we want to up their their price, their regular price for 20, for 50 percent. So we filter it, going to the bulk, fire, uh, checking the regular price, enter here 50, increase by 
percent rounding by the way we can uh, select here let it be 49 and do bulk and bulk editing will be applied only to these filtered products as you can see each change of course we can apply history to revert it back if it's necessary so as you understand in the complex filter plus bulk plus history provides us with very powerful tools to manage the data of our WooCommerce site. Another useful thing for the filtering is filters profiles. You can find it here. Let's press it. And here you can find one predefined filter profile and some I already created. So for example, let's load in the product editor only variable products we can do it in some clicks load so now we can see only variable variable products let's look it on the filter yes variable and what about if we need something more convenient which belongs to category t-shirts for example let's filter it so we have we found something and if in the future we will need uh, often this combination as variable products and t shirt we can create a profile here. Give it name which will be quite informative for you and save. Close. Let's click reset. So in the future we will decide that you need to go for your working uh, variable products in the category t-shirts. You can go to the filter profiles, click on this and select it from drop down and click on load. And just now you can see that for a couple of clicks we back our filtering with some, some combinations. So, and this I think all what you should know about filtering. If something new will be added in the future, you will be able to find it in the official documentation. So, see you. Bye.